I'm coming to you with tip number two on building self-trust. So the thing that really kind of hit home for me was I couldn't make me building self-trust based on future outcomes. So the question is, is, you know, I'm not going to say I'm going to lose 170 pounds, right? Because who knows if that's exactly going to happen that way. But what I did have control over and where I could start to build self-trust was my day-to-day -day actions, the things I could actually do and follow through on and begin to document. We make these comments, I'm going to lose 50 pounds this year. Well, what if you lost 45.8, you felt fantastic and that's where you stopped and you did all the work necessary to lose that weight. All that work you did day to day is where the self-trust was built, right? Not in losing the 45.8 pounds. Your body does that as a byproduct of you doing the work. And when I started to realize that, I stopped making things I said based on outcomes and more on what I could actually do today in the moment and take action on. That was a big change, a game changer for me. To build self-trust, it had to be in the here and now, not future outcomes. It had to be on actions, not results, right? In the sense of there's things that are outside of your control. Your body can lose weight at the rate it wants to, but you have control over how you eat, how you choose to move, and all the discipline and habits necessary to lose that weight. That's where the that's where the self-trust will be built day to day, not where you'll be in six months to a year, right? So focus on the here and now, focus on the actual actions you can take, not the long-term outcome of those actions, because those aren't set in stone, but what you do today is and tomorrow we're going to talk about how to document that follow through with it so you can start to build self-trust on a daily basis and that was how I finally started to move out of a place of not trusting myself at all into realizing wait a minute I do what I say and I follow through on it and the outcome was the weight loss right the outcome was the health and all those things happened but it was a byproduct of me doing what I said I was going to do on a daily and a weekly basis all right I'm going to come back to you tomorrow with tip number four have a great one